folks, this is the moment I've been, I've been waiting for ever since we left. My my used to be virtual friend, but now actual friend, Steve, here with Desert Arizona. Hello, Desert hello. Adventures in Arizona. And we're here and we're going four by four in with his with his Jeep and I am so excited. I mean, I've been waiting for this like a kid waiting for a present on Christmas morning, I swear. So anyways, here we are. We're in Quartzsite, Arizona, and we're hitting a ATV trail with the Jeep. And C says, Steve says that if he can get a tire on it, I can make it go forward. And I believe it, because this is pretty much the same style as they used to use in basically World War II, I suppose, you know? Um, yeah. Not like the kind of Jeeps they take to the mall, that's for sure. Uh, say hi. And, right. Hello, hello. And, uh, out, uh, running the desert trails, having a good time. And don't forget, go over and check his channel out because you can come along for the ride. Desert Adventures in Arizona. folks who are on these crazy ATV trails with a lot of loose rock and Steve's next to it, he's twisting his wheel and shifting it and working the clutch and shifting, it, shifting it and looking around and he's got it all figured out. I'm in good hands, that's all I know. <laughs> we would have went over a cliff if I weren't a little while ago for sure. So. But it is a blast so far, I'm telling you. It's a lot of fun. So the, the thing that I learned many years ago when you're four-wheeling on unfamiliar trails like we are today. I've been over some of these trails, but not all of them. 
and going up the mountaintop where we were at. Once I reached the top, I couldn't see the trail over my hood. So what I did was I stopped, parked the Jeep, got out, and then looked around. And my gut feeling told me that's where the trail ended. And it's a good thing we stopped because it did end there and we would end it up sliding down the side of the mountain. So you have to be careful when you're out running these trails and be very cautious. Like I said, I'm in good hands, guys. He's done a lot of trail riding, so I'm not I'm not shaking. See, I'm calm as a calm as a cucumber. It's a beautiful thing. Julian Mine. Oh. See the specks of gold still in that. In those veins. Look at how long this wall lasted. It's amazing. That'll be standing for another thousand years. Only the desert could just still last like that. If that was up north, it'd be gone. gone. This is where in the summer you don't want to put rattlesnakes, right? And then so here you are, you're going downhill. This is, this is an elevator, so I'm, I'm thinking that where that cover is right there, yeah. there's probably material went down there, went up the elevator, up top. I don't know what they did with that right there. That's what it comes down and into that. That, that turns up the final. I'd love to see something like this working, you know, and then it would be like, it's like that's kind of leaning south, right? doesn't it, right there, that piece of angle iron. Yeah. It's like a broke couple of bolts from it. Yeah, the bolts was, together. yeah, the bolts might have been cheap as steel. Or whatever. Yeah. And that's kind of the way they, the mines do things, even today, they just cobble things together, modify it as they go. Which they was they, they did on Gold Rush. That that's some of the material they were using. These are awesome, huh? Listen, they're, they're huge.
Wow, I could watch all the suspension work too, it was wild looking. <laughs> 